What's up everybody, how's it going? In this video, I want to answer the very simple but popular question of how much time should you spend coding? Now, believe it or not, there was a big rigorous study that was conducted on this very question where they followed a bunch of software engineers across all experience levels. So some people were just learning how to code, some people were a couple of years into their careers, some people had been working as software engineers for over 10 years, and after analyzing these people over multiple months or even years, they concluded that there was one optimal amount of time to spend coding on a daily basis to basically make you become the best software engineer possible. And that amount of time to spend coding on a daily basis is seven hours, 23 minutes, and 57 seconds. It sounds super weird and precise, but I'm gonna try to summarize why this amount of time is the optimal time. But if you're interested in reading the entire study and everything about it, you can do so at algoexpert.io slash Clem. Okay, just kidding. There was no study. I'm completely joking. There is no optimal time. Although if you want to go to algoexpert.io slash Clem, then definitely do it. It'll help you prepare for your technical interviews. Or if you want to learn to code, then go to programmingexpert.io slash Clem. Use the promo code Clem CLM for a discount on the platform. But so no, there is no study, no optimal time, no. The answer to this question is pretty simple. It might not please you, but the answer is it depends. It depends on who you are and what your goals are. Look, I know that everyone wants to have some sort of magic, easy to follow formula that will make them an amazing software engineer. If only I could just know that I have to spend seven hours, 23 minutes, and 57 seconds a day coding, and that would make me the best software engineer. But no, that's not how it works. Ultimately, coding is a skill like any other, meaning that the more you practice it, the better you become at it. And that means that the more time you spend practicing it, the better you become at it, with diminishing returns after a while, like any other skill, right? You can be, go from like beginner to intermediate very quickly, but then from intermediate to advanced a little bit less quickly, and then from advanced to expert even less quickly, and so on and so forth. Then also coding is one of those skills where there isn't really a hard cap of how much coding you can do per day that will like negatively impact you. In other words, it's not like a physical sport like weightlifting where you know spending four hours weightlifting might not like help you, it's probably gonna be counterproductive because you need to let your body rest and so on and so forth. Whereas coding, you can spend eight hours a day coding and you'll be fine overall, putting aside a little bit of mental fatigue. But so the point is you have to ask yourself, who are you? Are you just learning to code? Or are you someone who's preparing for interviews to get your first job? Or are you someone who's a couple of years into their career? Are you 10 years into your career? And then you have to ask yourself the second question, which is how quickly do you want to accomplish your goals? For example, if you're just starting out learning to code, how quickly do you want to become proficient in you know, the fundamentals of programming and in your first programming language? How quickly do you want to become employable as a software engineer? If your answer is very quickly or as quickly as possible, then you're not going to be able to get away with just one or two hours coding per day. You're going to have to code you know, multiple hours per day, probably eight or more hours per day. And if you do that, then you will likely become employable as a software engineer after you know, three, four, six months. Definitely doable, but not if you only spend an hour coding a day. Then if you're preparing for interviews to get a job, you have to ask yourself, how badly do you want that job? Do you wanna maximize your chances of passing those interviews or are you okay not maximizing your chances. You know, hopefully you're gonna say you wanna maximize your chances. And if that's the case, that means that you have to spend a lot of time preparing for coding interviews using a platform like AlgoExpert, my company. And so that might mean, you know, depending on how much time you have to prepare for those interviews, let's say you have two months, that might mean you're spending three to four hours a day doing just coding interviews. 
the less you spend, the less good at them you will get. It's not rocket science. And then if you are already a software engineer, you're working as a software engineer, that means that by default, you are probably spending at least, you know, two to three hours, maybe four hours every single workday coding. You're probably going to meetings and doing a bunch of other non-coding activities at work, but you are coding a lot. And at that point, I think that the question changes from can you become better as a software engineer by spending more time coding like at home to can you do more as a software engineer by spending more time coding? In other words, if you spent double the time coding for your work, whether you're working for a company or maybe on your own company or on your own project, the more time you spend coding, it's not so much that you're going to become better, it's just that you are going to do more. If you spend 16 hours working on your coding project, you're going to accomplish more than if you only spent eight hours working on your coding project. And so then again, we revert back to what are your goals? Do you want to get your coding project up and running as quickly as possible? If yes, then spend more time coding. Do you want to accomplish more at work? If yes, then you know work overtime, spend more time coding. And you have to figure out whether that's something that is justifiable to you. You get the idea. It depends. Or maybe you want to pick up a new technology that you are not learning at work. In that case, you're going to have to spend time outside of work learning that new technology. How fast do you want to learn it? Well, the more time you spend on it in a short period of time, the quicker you're going to learn it. You get the idea. It's really not rocket science. This might disappoint some of you, but hopefully not. Hopefully you are able to realize that this question is kind of silly in and of itself because it's just an obvious answer. It depends on you, where you are in your coding journey, and what your goals are. So on that note, let me know what you thought about the video in the comments below. Don't forget to smash the like button if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on LinkedIn and Twitter if you enjoy short form written content. Instagram if you like pictures, and I will see you in the next video.